Hey, so hey, what sir. you think about what he just said? Uh, God's giving me a gift like no other. My channel on YouTube is Dreamer of Dreams. I've seen the backside of the glory of God twice. I've seen Lady Wisdom. No, no, I'm asking you. Look, look. I'm asking you. What I want, do you I want think to tell about? You guys, I heard, I heard what y'all said, and I heard white people a few times. I want to, I want to quit you in a little bit further and take you a little bit further and tell you it's the mighty men of renown, the men of names, Genesis chapter six. It's the builders all through the Bible, the stone which the builders rejected. The builders are the shriners, the masons that run the courthouse. They run everything around the world, worldwide. So you need to focus your attention more on the stone which the builders rejected. It's the builders. And if you guys just didn't say white people have hate or anger towards white people because it's not all white people. My guys, my father, just like your father, my name, his name is Yah, J-A-H. Call unto him, call him by his name, Yah. Psalm 68, 4. For he is the father. name is what? Yah, J-A-H. Like J-A-H, what does that mean? It means the Lord, his name is Psalm 68, 4. Call unto him, call him by his name, Yah. For he is the father of the fatherless and the defender of widows. From Ketchum, Oklahoma. This is my love to you, brothers. From Ketchum, Oklahoma. That's the meeting spot to Jerusalem. It won't be hallelujah no more. It'll be halayah. Hallelujah. Right, so, look, look, I'm going to go back to my yes, question. Sir. So what do you think about what we just brought out about how uh, if you, think, blacks, think, Hispanics, and natives are the Israelites and all other nations are going into slavery and they're going to build up our, think, our kingdom? I think what Jeremiah said, uh, it says, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it should no more be said, the Lord God liveth about the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Yeah. But the Lord God liveth about the children out of the north and out of all the lands where I driven them and I'll bring them again to the land that you I You got to slow first. down, man. I get, land that I yeah, 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 yeah. You got to slow down, okay, though. Slow down, so I'll say that again. And Jeremiah. Very, therefore, therefore, yeah. behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it should no more be said, the Lord God lived about the children of Israel. 19, go out of the land of Egypt. And we're not going to be talking about Moses and that story no more. But the Lord God lived about the children out of the north and out of all the lands where they're driven. And there's a Holocaust coming from America. These builders, the Shriners, is the white people that you're talking about. They're the, they're the Masons, the builders. There's a war between the builders and Jesus, the governments of the world and Jesus. That five point star is on 80 out of 196 nations' flags. There's a similarity here. You're moving too fast and you're not giving us room to respond. Yes, but sir. Listen to this. Go ahead. Yes, sir. This is Matthew chapter 18 and verse 17. And if he and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Yeah, so this is this is response to what you're talking about. Why did Christ say, treat this man that neglects to hear the church like a heathen? If he came for all people, why did Christ say? Let him, let him be treated as a heathen. So the same way he said, don't throw your pearls under the swine. You know, sometimes you need to just turn your back. Uh, like, like Paul said, uh, so much sexual immorality within the church, not even named outside the church, deliver such one unto Satan for the destruction so of the your, flesh. So we're supposed to treat the heathen and turn our back away from the heathen, correct? And it's out of love. And it's out of love. It's not out of hate or anger. It's out of love that you hey, do that. Hey, hey, so, yeah. so as Christ said... We treat the heathen and we turn our backs on the heathen yeah. out of love. Yes, sir. Okay, and we don't deal with the heathen. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. is it fair to, uh, and also, <laughs> for what they did to the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, they got to go into slavery too, right? According to the Bible, he's a righteous justice, he's a God of justice, right? The mountains will be lowered, the valleys will be no, exalted. No, yes, yes or no? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying yes, I agree with you. So you agree white people should go into slavery for what they did no, to you, blacks? You just slipped, you slipped and said white people. All yeah. of our presidents are either skull and bones or masons. The, the bushes are skull and bones. We so don't care about that because there's blacks those, amongst the masons. Those are We're the white, yeah, this yeah. Is a, look, this is a race thing. <laughs> yeah. This is that one was, race against okay. another race, and that's how it always what been is it, what in the is scripture. Right. Everybody has been against the Israelites. The blacks, Hispanics, and natives are the Israelites. You will be known as the Edomites in the scriptures. Esau. Right? So... According and, and, to the Bible, what the brother just brought out, the Israelites is going to get taken back to their homeland, and the rest of the nations are going to come with us, but they're going to be in chains. In Revelation, whenever the people are gathered up, it's from every tongue, nation, tribe, and Yeah, language. our people is in every. Go to Acts 2. Our people is everywhere. We agree yeah, with that. It. Scattered except abroad. Except for the white. I keep hearing you say except for the white people. Uh, Chinese, too. No, Arabs, no. too. Africans, too. Not just the white man. You, going, you got buddies going into slavery with you. Don't worry. You got that? Acts 2 and 5, go ahead. The book of the Acts, says free, free chapter free. 2, verse 5. Bring it out. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem hey, Jews, hey, devout men, out of every hate, nation man. under like, heaven. Hey, hold on, are you going to listen to the scripture? Y'all got too much hate, man. He keeps saying the white What's people. What's hate that we said? I know my father loves me, so there's nothing else that you could ever tell me that, that, that he don't love me. I know Jesus loves me, just the same way he loves you. Hey, I know he does. Like, hey, he said that uh, they would turn their backs on the heathens. That's love, right? That's what you said. So why do I have you said, hold on now, answer my question. You said that they would turn their backs on the heathens, right? And then that that's love, right? Answer my question. Isn't that what you said? 
That's what they would do. They would turn why their backs on me then. The okay, I'm just going to speak to y'all because you're not answering my question. He said earlier that they would turn their backs on the heathen, and then that is love. This is love. We are telling you the judgments of God. You are hung up on, oh, they're talking about, because the Bible doesn't say black and white. It calls you by your, it calls you by your, your nation, your biblical nation. Because we don't, you don't know what Edom is, we got to say white. We got to speak to you according to the language that you know and understand. Now, if you want to know what your biblical identity is, it is an Edomite. Hey, so look, do you see us, before we say that, do you see yourself on this sign? Where do you see yourself at? You don't see yourself nowhere on that sign? I'm Babylonian. I'll never know my father's name, but my father in heaven is Yah. You, 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 you just right said you don't know who you are, now you're Babylonian. Babylonian so if you're Babylonian, why do you care about what we say about white people then? No, I'm saying. You're just as much Babylonian as I am. We're here in America. We're every nation put back into one. No other nation. JFK said that we are a nation of nations. Ellis Island, Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty is a whore. Liberty for homosexual marriage. Liberty for nine month abortion. It's liberty from God. We even fed lives from kindergarten on, guys. Everything they All right, so look, look, look. What church you say you was with? Jesus. You said you was with a church, though, right? That's his throne right there, bro. The he son of righteousness. Now I got chapter four. Yeah, that's what it's of righteousness. Now I got chapter four. That is Jesus' throne right there. I'm the last so you don't know what your God's name stands for. So what is the what is your mission? Like, what is your mission here on earth? What are you supposed to be doing? What is the purpose? What are you teaching? Leading people up out of the Holocaust that's coming right here. Right How do now. you do that? Tell teaching them what? Tell them flee from the midst of Babylon. So leave pray Babylon. You pray you that you'll flee. Physically? Come out of my people. Physically? It will be a physical thing. Yes, it will. When the Holocaust comes, one of the many dreams I've had is a group of us walking by officers. They had their hands up there like they want to pull yeah. up. They, they want to pull slow. up. Damn. All right, all right, all right. They had their hands up there like they want to pull them up out of their holsters to blow my brains out. You can tell by looks on their faces, but we're walking right by them the same way they pick up stones to stone Jesus. Down, and you walk through the midst of them. It's just all about up. faith. It's all about faith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guarantee you. So you don't have a message? I have a message. Just tell the people to leave? My message is on YouTube, Dreamer of Dreams. 14 videos. Of okay, so stuff. Dreamer of Dreams, what do you teach on your page? All kinds of dreams and visions guys give me. How he's encouraged me, how he's taught me, how he's trained me. Elite, elite, elite. And I so want how do you have everything I've got. Hey, so how do, you feel, how do you feel about us saying that only blacks, Hispanics, and natives, is, the kingdom is for them? I feel sorry for you. Why do you feel sorry for us? Because you're lost in a hate or an anger that okay, I, so I feel bad what's for. Okay, so what's your name? What did you say your name was? Troy. What's Troy? Troy, yes, Who is the kingdom of heaven for? His people. Who is his people? Is it the Israelites or no? Yes. So we the blacks, Israel. Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, brother, the blacks, Hispanics, and Natives are the Israelites according to the Bible. So is it fair to say that the kingdom of heaven is for them? I've never read anything about Hispanics in the Bible. <laughs> wow. Well, you don't see you don't see none of those terms in the Bible. The point is, y'all change those names. All I know That's is why about you don't. Love. All I know is about love. That's you guys what it is. Play. It's about love. This is the book of Romans. Try and listen to this scripture. Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Read out. For I could wish that myself were cursed for Christ, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption. So who gets the adoption? We are Israel. No, 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 no. What is, real quick, real quick. We can talk about that. But first I want to establish this. Is that fair? Yeah. So who gets the adoption? I got you. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? So who gets the adoption? Okay, cool. And the glory. Who gets the glory? Huh? I'm sorry? That's why you got to keep listening to the scripture. It says... Who are Israelites to whom pertain to the adoption and the glory? Who gets the glory? Okay, cool. And the covenants. Who gets the covenants? Who gets the covenants? I just want to make sure you're on the same track. The Israelites. It says, and the giving of the law. Who gets the law? Who, gets, who was the law given to? The Israelites. Let's keep going. And the service of God. Who gets the service of God? The Israelites, right? It says, and the promises. Who gets the promises? Woo! Who gets the promises? Who gets the promises? I want to make sure we're on the same track. This is this is the, this is the book of Romans. 
I mean, you're right. It's, you're right. Because we're, we're on this track. We're on the same God. track with Paul, and God. Paul is on the same track as Christ, right. and Christ God. is on the same track as God. You're not God to judge and say. No, I didn't judge nobody. Stop! 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 He so, didn't judge you. He the, he just read a scripture. You feel it convicted because you're probably a heathen, man. That's just facts. Me, right? you're you a heathen. Hey, give me Jeremiah 49 and 10. You're telling me that I'm not a part of God's people. No, he, he just read how the Israelites pertain all of those things. They got all of those things. You put yourself there, so what does that say about you? If you can't find my channel on the Dreamer Dreams, keep typing. I got your number, Uncle Sam. That's one of my 14 videos. Hey, read Deuteronomy 13. Yeah. Come back. Go ahead, we're going to read it anyway. Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 10. Bring it up. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. Uh -oh. He can't hide himself no more. We know who he is and we oh, bring out sorry. his judgment. Oh, and he's sorry. afraid. And you see, that's what that's all we see is love. Love. Right. But they ain't showed us no love. Right. They're allowing us to sit here and heal. Uh, with our, we got a heal on ourselves. They're not giving us no band-aids. They're not giving us nothing. Some of us are bleeding out, destroyed. Some of us is trying to trying to heal ourselves, but we can't because he's still oppressing us. He's still beating the hell out of us, man. Right. Straight up, allowing us to sit here and just be all scored up, and he's not giving us no healing ointment, man. Right. He just steady, just beating the hell out of us, man, and that's just what it is. Right? Keep going. Okay. I'm there too. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy, not going. It's say, but I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret place and. Most I, hey, he said, I have made Esau bear, and I have uncovered his secret places. Everything that Esau has been doing is being exposed by the Israelites. Why do you think they hate us? The world hates us so much. Hey, even some of our people hate us simply because we are exposing this devil for who he is. Straight up, man. The Most High said he's exposing us. He's just using us. We're just vessels. You got a problem with the Most High? You got to take that up with the Most High. The Most High chose a certain people, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. Nobody. Right? Go ahead. And he shall not be able to hide himself. Uh -huh. His seed is spoiled, uh -huh. and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Yep. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive. So the Most High said, leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive. Right? Go ahead. And let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. They, they descendants. They descendants, they don't get judged, even though they didn't drink of the cup. Even though they didn't have us in slavery, they descendants is around here mourning, and they ain't getting no comfort. They not getting no shake back. Nobody's replying to them. They elites ain't telling them everything is okay. We got everything under control. None of that, man. They out here just scratching the wall, man. And they got to deal with it. That's why you, when you see stuff like this, this is how you know we right, man. That's all I know is love. That's all I know is love. But we don't get no love. As a nation, we don't get no love, man. Hey, what, what time is it? 7.40. 6.40. I'm sorry. 6.48. Got him. Like, right. So, uh... Go to 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and 54 and then Syrac chapter 17 and 17. We come out here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you descend from one of those, then you are a Hebrew Israelite and you need to repent for the remission of sins. If you want to be forgiven for your sins, you need to repent now and not tomorrow. You need to, hey, if you're on drugs, man, you need to get off them drugs, man, and come back to the Most High God. That is a natural high that you'll get you know, believing it in your power again. You don't have to worry about these five-minute highs, man, no more. These highs is just to get you through. And, you know, we, we, we know the testimony. A lot of people get highs simply so to deal with life, man, to deal with this life, this community. But we don't have to do that no more. The Most High God has returned unto us, and he promised us the kingdom of heaven. That's the promise that the brother just read in uh, Romans chapter 9. The kingdom of heaven, a land flowing with milk and honey. Give me that uh, Jeremiah 11, then we can get those two scriptures right quick. Jeremiah chapter 11. What's up with it, old school? How you doing? You listening to us? You believe in the Bible, man? I uh, praise you. What you think about what we just brought out? 100, man. I'm crazy. Like hey. say, some people get mad because they don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, they don't want to hear the truth. That's right! Uh, just, you know, man, y'all know how to handle it because the world today, man, you know, everybody 
everybody want to fight everybody. Yeah. Y'all deal with that situation real good. Oh, yeah. We, good. we prepared. We got we got angels to come out of us. But, hey, you do you see yourself on that sign? Oh, yeah, for sure. The spirits get the springing out of them. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Carlos. Hey, do you see yourself on that sign right there, Carlos? 11 and 1. Yeah. Where you see yourself at? I see myself as number one. Number American one? What's Black. that? American Blacks. American, American Blacks. Blacks. Judah. Is that your father or your mother? Uh, what is your father? Indian. He Native American? So you will be at the bottom then if your father is a Native American. You either be Reuben or Gad. You know more about your history than us, so you know, you know if it's Reuben or Gad. Huh? It's not a bad thing, yeah. It's not about order. It's just these are all yeah, yeah. From the it's not, tribes. Yeah. It's not about the order of it, how it is. It's just, you know, we did that just so people can see. Yeah, because uh, so my Indian heritage, you know, we free from the Indians. Yeah. And man, when I found out about my heritage, you know, it was free from the Indians. I didn't know that. And we had a chance to get our road cards, but every time free from the road cards come up for yeah. Indians, you slap back down at all. So I and I understand that. Uh one thing we always tell the Native Americans is uh for the most part they, they ain't gonna ever get their land back. I know a lot of Native Americans they think to fight back to try to get their land back. What you what you saying about the getting a card and you know getting the resources that you need to survive, that's A okay. But the most I have something even more glorious for you, waiting on you, but you have to come back to who you are, which is a so called Gadite or a Reubenite. You got, have you ever heard of Israelites? You have so. What do you think about the Israelites? Strong. They strong. strong. Real strong. Yeah. So what? What? What stops you from? Do you believe that you're Israelite? I still had a devil sneak in sometimes. Yeah, yeah, for sure, going for sure. Through, going through the boots right now, man. Cause I've been my whole entire life out doing good, and some I just, I just told my wife, man, I feel deep, and I guess she thought I was playing. You know, I mean, you know, you still playing in the world. See, that's a conversation you should get with us with, because we can help you out on that conversation with that right there. But first, you know, we got to give you the we got to give you the basics, of course. So in Genesis chapter 49, in the beginning of the book, go to Genesis 49, you being a Gadite or a Reubenite, right? Most likely Gad, Reuben is in towards Canada, north towards Canada. You got it? Got Gad. The book of Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So this is Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Are you familiar with the Bible? Okay, so Jacob, it was a man named Jacob. His name was changed to Israel because he was about to be the beginning of his nation, right? That's why you have the nation of Israel. or the, We are called the sons of Jacob, right? And he's going to tell all his sons what shall befall them in the last days. Basically his descendants. Because, you know, the, the actual sons ain't there. So we're talking about the descendants in the last days, right? So keep going. Verse 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. So a troop is just simply an army. So I'm going to ask you, you know, you're familiar with history, right? So what happened to the Native American Indians? Huh? They got wiped out, right? Some of them is still out in the streets, you no, know, you no, know, you know, just just laying around. They don't know what to do no more, right? They lie to them and tell them they got these casinos when they really don't, you know, all of that, you know. But it said, "Gad, a troop shall overcome him." This is what this troop is talking about: the cavalry, the thirteen colonies that came over here and, like you said, wiped them out, right? It says, uh, "Gad, a troop shall overcome him," but what at the last? But he shall overcome at the last. So what we out here doing is we gathering the elect, the hopeful elect. We we trying to gather 12,000 out of each tribe like the Bible commands us. Now, we're not the only ones out here teaching. There's plenty of camps all over the four corners of the earth teaching this, this same gospel, right? So we're, our job is to wake up 12,000 out of each tribe so that they can get payback vengeance on the so-called white man. What do you think about that? You got that? What do you think about that, brother? 
right now, man, I just feel like we, we just don't. We, it's like we can't even say nothing. If you're black, we can't say nothing. That, that's you know? the thing, though. We, and I mean, I, I just think <laughs> they still try to make us puppets for a long time. But, and it's hard to change, you know. Hard to change, nah, brother, it's, don't, don't give up now. It's oh, hey, the no. Most High God has already established the righteousness on the earth. He already been told us what he gonna do, oh, yeah. and we about to get up out this place. You just gotta hold on until the end. But when you go to Revelation chapter seven, right? Revelation seven and four, read that. Revelation. And these scriptures, it should be encouraging. It should be hope for you. You know, what I'm saying he said, uh, the Native Americans, uh, 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 army is gonna come at come at you. They gonna get you, but then you gonna get the the last laugh. You gonna get them back at the end, right? So go ahead. Book of Revelation, chapter seven, verse four. Yep. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty-four thousand of the all the tribes of children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. So you see, all of the tribe that you see, all of those names, there's going to be 12,000 out of each tribe. And they're going to be the ones who get the payback. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you, you know, you interested in, you know, getting payback. But ultimately, you're going to be placed in a land that's yours, that's formed with milk and honey. And you ain't got to worry about them telling us what we can and can't say, what we can and can't eat. You know, we ain't got to pay just to go fishing. We don't got to pay to do all of these things. You don't get paid minimum wage and everything. The prices of everything is going up still. You know what I'm saying. It's only going to get worse here, though, so we might as well come back to the Most High God now and not tomorrow. So our job is to come out here and teach you how to repent. Do you know how to repent, Carlos? You don't? Know? Are you interested in learning how to repent? You got to go to work. Hey, can we give you a flyer right here? Right okay, I'll pray. No, no, Just get with us, man, so you can learn. No, I ain't trying to rush off. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We understand. Hey, we appreciate you for giving us that much of time. Because we got to get going too, but, you know, we want to. Our praises, man. Hey, all we ask, we ask for no money. We ain't ask for nothing. We just want you to check the flyer out. Read the old real scriptures that we got on there. And click on the page and just watch a couple of videos so you can see where we stand and where you should be at, you know, in, the, in your journey. All right, Carlos. Alright, guys, so with that, we want to give Kahalo Yahweh, Bahashem, Amashayak, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.